Good morning, everyone. My name is Natalie Chang, and I work with the Internews Center for Innovation and Learning. Since the center began in 2011, we've supported several humanitarian technology projects. And today, I'd like to share with you our humanitarian data toolkit. But before I tell you how the kit actually works, I'd like to tell you why we created it. At Internews, we believe that information saves lives. And as such, meeting the information needs of local communities is a critical component of effective and accountable humanitarian response. For an affected population, knowing the answers to questions such as, where can I find help? Should I go home? And where can I locate resources like food, water, medicine, and shelter? It is a growing recognition in the humanitarian community that information is a basic need in humanitarian response, and that we must work to greater incorporate information from affected communities into the decisions that we make. For us at Internews, an information needs assessment is that first step in helping us to understand the dynamics of information access, what communities most want to know, and what they most want to share with aid responders and the government. We have been refining our approach to information needs assessments since Haiti in 2010, and we have continued to evolve it in our responses in Pakistan, Liberia, Libya, Kenya, and Ethiopia, and as well as other countries. And each time, we have worked to bring to greater scale and cost efficiency our ability to collect this kind of information. Now, drawing upon these lessons learned around the world, Earlier this year, we piloted our humanitarian data toolkit in Dadaab, Kenya. The HDT is a system that allows a team in the midst of a crisis to rapidly collect, aggregate, analyze, and share data in less than one week. Now, in addition to the hardware that you see above, the HDT co contains a standardized survey and methodology for an information needs assessment, in addition to several software components, including ODK Collect for mobile phone data collection, Form Hub, and Captricity. Now, in addition to all of this, we've created a range of training guides that enable you to learn very quickly and rapidly how to use all aspects of the toolkit. And we are making these materials available under a Creative Commons license so that anyone can continue to improve and iterate upon these processes as they use the system. Now, the HDT is the first system that enables data collection by both paper and mobile phones which offers enumerators tremendous flexibility in deciding which method to use, depending on the context, on the security situation, and who they may be interviewing next. Now, should a team decide to use both systems, the HTT allows you to scan in paper surveys and take that digitized data and combine it with the data collected through mobile phones and integrate it into one data set. The HTT does not require internet access to collect or aggregate data, and as it includes a solar panel, it also enables you to operate in situations where electricity may be unreliable or completely unavailable. What we noticed in the pilot project was that enumerators reduced both the number of mistakes as well as the amount of time it took to complete one survey. And importantly, we also noted a qualitative improvement in that the enumerators reported increased comfort with both the paper and the mobile surveys, which suggests to us that using this toolkit, training and capacity building is very, very rapid. Now, looking forward, one of the next steps for us is continuing to iterate our rapid data analysis system, provisionally called Bamboo. We are also investigating the addition of components such as SMS, and also redesigning the actual box so that it is more user-friendly and intuitive as soon as you drop into a crisis situation and need to figure out how to put all of this together. We will also continue to share our lessons learned on our website. The HDT is an open source system, and it can be used for a variety of different purposes beyond information needs assessments. And so in closing, I'd like to invite all of you to join us in testing it, thinking about it, and improving it. And if you'd like to continue the conversation, please feel free to reach out to me and any of us here at the center, and we'd be more than happy to talk with you further. Thank you.